It's your boy, Young Kiyoma, aka the Lord Master, aka Prime, aka Nick. And who are y'all? Hey, bro, what's going on, bro? It's the six one tiny man, also known as the Postman. What's going on? And it's your third host, Josh, aka JC, and welcome back to episode fourteen. Are we on fourteen? It's fourteen. Or you are. You you got it. 14. It's fourteen. He's on it. He's on it. Okay, yes, sir. Yep, we are back with another one, and we doing it weekly yes, now. Yes, sir. Hold up. Episode thirteen going out later tonight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Saturday, so you guys Sunday should be morning. seeing this just every weekend. Yes, sir. We know the vibes. We're also switching it to mornings now. Just fuck with me. That was not. That was not part uh, of the plan. Uh, it's eight yeah, p.m. Time job now. <laughs> I would just fuck up someone's whole day. It's happening every morning at 10 a.m. Just like... 10 a.m. Niggas ain't awake for that. Oh, <laughs> Niggas are not awake for that. I'd maybe be up. Uh, but, uh... How are y'all doing today? For real, for real. How are we doing today? I almost... We all... We all... You and me had the same issue, Josh. I almost choked on mac and cheese earlier. Yeah. I yeah, woke up. That's not a pretty... Sound. I woke up... Uh, about an hour ago. I woke up about an hour ago. Uh, I was like, "Oh shit!" Mm -hmm. They made dinner. You got some mac and cheese. Still, that shit was hot as hell. And it just, mm. Mm, nah, burned my tongue. I started choking. It was, oh, uh oh, whole ordeal. Damn, damn, ordeal. bro. That shit reminded me, of like, uh, at work, uh. This one dude I'm cool with, the DJ, he was like, yo, you want to do a pizza challenge, bruh? And I was like, oh, okay. I mean, shit, free food? That's what I looked at. That's just free food. And so I, we did that shit. And like halfway, like, no, like the first bite, that shit was steaming. Like they said, yo, should we give him a cool down? Like, should we give him a cool down time, you know, and let it cool? Like, I think it was like, no, <laughs> like, let their mouths die like oh, okay and then yeah we literally wasted like 10 minutes trying to eat that shit because it was burning piping hot fresh from the fucking oven i mean it tasted good but it's just like jesus christ You're i do not die. want the roof of my mouth <laughs> god <laughs> so That's yeah food just it'd be like that bro. Sometimes, bro. yeah and it's always bro. like okay matter of fact just while on the fucking topic, bro, you ever eaten something and you just like, you just trying to enjoy your food, my nigga. Like, is this, mm -hmm. is this a crime? Is it illegal for me to exactly. try and enjoy my food? And then you yeah, bite your exactly, lip nigga. and it's like, you I bite don't your lip for your want tongue? to talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, and it's like, I don't even want, it makes you want to not eat. Like, it literally makes you want to be like, I just want to That's stop. That shit kills the vibe entirely. Because I don't want to eat. Yeah. If someone has ever told Bruh. you that you're a vibe killer, just whenever you bite your you lip or your tongue while you're eating, you did that. Mid, the human mid, equivalent like, of biting dude. someone's tongue or lip. Like, Damn. congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Because ain't bro. nothing fucking so my breath from that shit after you eat. Like, when you're eating it, it's just like, <clears throat> let me fuck up this nigga's whole day. It's even worse when you bite, like, Bruh. the inside of the lip. Dude, that's what happened. Mm. Ooh. Mm -mm. I still feel that bit right now. Mm. Dumb. I'm like, man, I'm... It's like the equivalent to stubbing your toe. Yeah, right, huh? yeah it's like stubbing Son your toe, but with your mouth. Why is that shit so yeah. effective, bro? Like, that is like... It's always the smaller pain that, that, that a human nigga. <laughs> yeah, it, bro. It's, it's like, I mean, damn, like, I've never been shot, nor would I want to. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, at least if you get shot, you like, all right, this could go one or two ways. I'm either dead or I'm not. I'm either <laughs> dead or I'm not. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And if you're not, getting shot and the pain is now eclipsed. Because at least it's like, hey. I'm alive. You could have woke up dead. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, <laughs> woke up dead. <laughs> nigga woke up dead. But nah, bro. Like, stubbing your toe just, it makes you hate Paper life cuts. for like two seconds. Two seconds, you're like, this shit ain't working. <laughs> <laughs> this shit ain't working. Bro, for real. 
I mean, it's so like, man, if I don't know what 50 days light is, bro, I ought to stay in my ass in the prime mode. <laughs> Damn. <I'm done>. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> It's over, bro. Stub your toe for two seconds. She's like, bro, I'm about to end it all. I'm about to <laughs> oh, end wow, it. Wow. She hurts, bro. That is funny, bro. You're coming for your life. Fuck. Like, shit, you ever stepped on a Lego brick, nigga? Oh, oh damn. That's why I got rid of those bitches. Stepping on a Lego not. brick. Oh, no. Nah, see, I was, the, I was a different breed, right? Mm. So, honestly... And my parents don't know this. I used to just take my Lego bucket and just dump it on the floor. Ooh. Not the whole thing. The whole <laughs> thing. Every single piece. All of them. Right? <laughs> and what happened is, I would just leave that thing on the floor throughout the week. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And I'm not going to step on them because I know they're there. So if I get in trouble... <laughs> I just got to retreat oh, to the God. room. <laughs> and wait for somebody's toes and the bottom of your foot to become Swiss cheese. It, wow. bro, it really be like that, dog. Hell no, bro. When they come with that belt, it's, it's every man for himself, bro. You better think of a plan or else your ass is grass. <laughs> he said, there I'm is a, no he wild. Said, I'm a, he said, I'm a demoralizer. They're not even going to want to know more. <laughs> Oh my god. If you gotta... come in and go, please just pick up the goddamn Legos. <laughs> like, bro, no, you gotta give him that. <laughs> you gotta hit him with a, bro, do you really want to continue this fight? Only problem is. Will like... you stay afloat, Mr. Bond? Or will you fall into the river below? <laughs> you fall into the river below. That should never work out for me, bro. <laughs> That just oh, makes them not... more angry. And okay, but okay. Whiplash. The bad part about that is whenever it's like. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't plan for shit. So, like, if my dad gets home at that time and it's like, niggas pissed mm -hmm. because some shit happened at school or whatever, and it's like, all right, I don't have time. <laughs> I'm just gonna give mm. you this weapon and then that's gonna be that. Yeah. Nah, bro. Stepped on your Legos. Congratulations. Your fucking <laughs> your plan is now shit. You're so dead. Fuck. <laughs> it worked for five You're seconds. Dead. You're done. Sorry. Damn. And in that five seconds, I realized <laughs> that it never worked at all. <laughs> I just feel like, uh, defeat. Damn. <laughs> uh, but, uh, is this defeat. Real talk, though, um, my day is, uh, going out pretty well. Uh, I've been streaming all day, yeah, by the way. True. PC streams are back, so if anyone was like, man, I don't that trash uh, ass phone stream nigga for what for those on, <sighs> for those on youtube uh his twitch will be in the description and for those not on youtube it's twitch.tv slash josh the blurred j-o-s-h-t-h-a-b-l-e-r-d and i'm not even paying him to say that he my homie so where's yeah, my fucking been money doing that all day uh, <laughs> uh, what anyway, you mean I'm not getting paid? <laughs> anyway, nah, for real talk, bro. Like, uh, I've just been doing some 3D modeling streams. You know the vibes. Like, just trying to multitask and you know get shit done. So, uh, other than that, trying to work, uh, improve. Get money. I definitely want to plan on uh, saving up for a camera. And uh, I found out a cool way to do light setups. I'm pretty sure if anyone who's watched people with like DSLR cameras, most of them got like the camera setup where like their lights in their room are initially off. And then they just they just got like soft light keys just sitting there. And then they got the RGB lights in the background. And so then the camera's kind of focusing on their face, you know? And that's what I kind of want to do. I want to do some color grading, maybe make my own LUT. You know what I'm saying? Improve quality, so... Yeah, y'all know where to find me. YouTube channel, all that shit. Mm -hmm. all we trying to win, bro. All in description. That's facts. Uh, how about you, PJ? What you been up to? Yeah. Uh, not gonna hold you. 
in between like mental breakdowns and yep. just trying to figure out more shit, it's been, you know, some shit. Yeah, that's mm. true. Still trying to get mod stuff done, obviously. Uh, for some reason, I tried to make a beat earlier today, and just like in recent, I guess attempts, uh, FL just is not like loading like that. Like, it's always like something. Oh, really? Nah, I don't know what's oh, been going man. on. I can't open up complete control. Like, it's always something. I've tried to That's open complete true. control, and then it just literally that. just stops. Like, yeah. it'll just be like, all right, can't do it for you. And then, yeah, the it'll even it crash the damn thing. Like, it'll just crash FL. And I'm like, yo. You were in the call trying to make a beat what? the other day, and I remember you were having that problem. Specifically with... Does it need an update or something? I don't know. I mean, it might actually. <laughs> I could probably try that. Sometimes it's usually like an update or something like that. See, the thing is, like, sometimes I feel like when they be throwing updates at people, they fuck up something that's already working. Bruh, that's like, facts. It arcade. Won't be breaking until, oh, exactly. Like, I'm like, arcade is working perfectly fine. Then they're like, yo, it's an update. And then it's like, it's not syncing with complete control. So, what are we, uh, uh what, are we, what are we gonna do about this? It's like, nigga, fix it. <laughs> It's not my exactly. fucking fault. It's not my fault. <clears throat> yeah, they don't take that in consideration, dog, at all. It's just... Let's throw all this. This is cool. <laughs> if I can handle it, maybe you can handle it. Like, nigga, get your... Like, I swear everyone has a bunch of team on terms of, like, balancing shit out and solving problems. <laughs> For real, bro. You ain't so that's on that. Add a bunch of new shit. Alright. What about uh the stuff that's gonna interact with? Hey, 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 do I pay you to ask questions or do I pay you to implement stuff? It's like implement. All right, shut the fuck up and add it. It's like okay, cool. So then when it doesn't work, here we go. <laughs> I'm still getting paid. Fuck it. All right, hey, Greg. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Greg. Um, <laughs> my God, it hey, would Robert. Be a I will. At the top, Tom must pay you. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I guess, aside from getting my mouth burned by mac and cheese, scalding me to death from the inside out, um, I, I did listen to an album recently that I didn't get the chance to listen to, as I did with the new Bradio album last week. Uh, mm -hmm. I listened to Aesop Rock's Spirit World Field Guide. Very Ooh. good album. It's a real good one. 21 Back tracks, on track. I liked all of them. <laughs> Cop it! Just okay. saying. Just saying. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I don't know for certain, but I think he produced every track on that album, which if you listen to the beats, is insane! Yeah, I actually did check Damn. out, um, Gauze. Yeah. I really like the beat on Gauze. Okay, I'm only asking this because I don't know. Hmm. Does he usually do, like, is that, like, why he's called Aesop Rock? Is it because it's mostly, like, rock-oriented type stuff? Um, or was that just for that song? That's a great question. <laughs> I don't know why he's named that. Or I just mean, like, is it? does I he mean, do I, a lot of rock-oriented stuff? He, uh, well, on that album, uh, kinda on... I think it depends on the album, really. Because, like, some of his older works, some of them do. Because I know that some of his influences were, like, some, like, rock bands and punk bands. Um, But there are some albums, like, for example, Impossible Kid is just, it's super um electronic. Mm. So I think it just uh, depends okay. on what he's feeling. And, I mean, Skeleton wasn't super rock-inspired either. But Spirit World Field Guide, very cool. Very cool album. That's, that's, that's dope, all I got. bro. That's all I got. <coughs> oh, wait. You know what? One more thing to bring up. Mm -hmm. Yesterday. Yesterday, two days ago, one or the other. My uh, mom got a whole bunch of stuff from her work. And uh, it's like a whole bunch of fucking... Uh, like... 
because it's like a tech company so it's a whole bunch of like their like stuff that she got so that she could take to um somewhere tomorrow i don't remember exactly where she's going but um she got a whole bunch like like some a shit ton of like boxes of like just different uh like computers and like tech and shit right like just a whole bunch of their shit and for some reason and we're keeping these mm-hmm. for some because they they don't have a problem with her taking like some some stuff as long as it's stuff that isn't like um from the business itself. Uh, for some mm-hmm. reason, they just had an NES and SNES mini. Whoa! So like stupid yeah. or no? <laughs> we're keeping it. <laughs> we're keeping it. Damn. Uh, nice. Because like they wouldn't have a problem with it, and it's not like the and it's not their companies but it's like uh it's like uh they got it from so another one that they work with like they're one of their vendors or whatever uh but yeah so we got those okay. that's pretty cool that's pretty cool um Dope. so i'll be fucking around with those a little bit that's a bit bro and that's that's that that's it that's that's how it's been going we we always get really lucky when it comes to shit like that because it's like, you get those, Damn. and then, like, how I got my current PC sure. is literally, like, uh-huh. somebody was, somebody was, like, shit, I have this good-ass PC, but I'm upgrading. Hey, anybody need a PC? Yeah. Hopefully, a nigga would be like, yo, uh, I got this, uh, PC with the RTX 2080. I don't really need it. Like, like, yeah, okay, nigga, I'll take like, it. Let me get that, let me get that graphics card from you. Yeah, keep the rest. Like, let me get the card, bro. Come on now. Just let me get the card, bro. Please, bro. I already got a next gen fucking CPU, Please, but this 1070 is not keeping up. <laughs> I'll say that much. Uh, they can get tired on the fifth lap. Like, oh bro, snap! And we're gonna be, and it's gonna we're be gonna a shortage until technique. like it's gonna be a shortage until next year too. Of course, uh, it will oh, be. Yeah. Got me out here looking at an yeah, SLI brick. Quarantine maybe, be good with that. Maybe it'll keep maybe, up then. Maybe. <laughs> maybe it'll keep up then. <laughs> All right. So, Might have Josh, to push you said... the old FBI <laughs> interrogation setup. <laughs> no way. Sir, do you have two tight nexus? Oh, Look, we got a shortage going on, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> they can get a question. <laughs> Starts torturing a fucking scalper. Uh, He's like, hey, so I see you're selling five titans, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> Why don't you give those up? The, uh, the greater good the department of uh, my wallet is uh, not really looking too tight right now, so. <laughs> why, 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 don't you, uh, why don't you make me a deal? But, pal. You give me all five uh, of those titan nexes, I make sure that your house stays intact. <laughs> Just like, uh, damn. If you don't, Whoa. say goodbye to your family. Whoa. Nah, your family's gonna be alive. Nope. Can't say the same for you, bet. <laughs> <laughs> or it's um, when they hit you with a butt after. <sighs> huh. <laughs> Alright, um... So, Josh, Nick, you said there was something you wanted to start off with? Before the All before right. we got on this conversation, we asked Josh at the, uh... Before we started recording, even. We were like, you have anything you want to start oh, yeah, the podcast yeah. off with some today? shit to say, no, I'm playing. Yeah, and he was like, oh, I got something. And, uh, I mean... We just spent, like, 20-ish minutes talking about... Alright. I got two... <laughs> I got two if the... The first one is like really short, but y'all already know. Gotta start it off a little wild. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta start off wild. Yeah. Okay. Oh, All right. Off, y'all ready? Bro? Okay. Just a little wild. I just want to know your reaction, your thoughts on this. Oh, here okay. we go. I feel like this nigga gonna pull back. Right. <laughs> Why right. do you do this, bro? Every look, time we gotta he make does it this every I'm time, bro. He does this every time, bro. Look, that's gonna be fucking Josh. <laughs> he does this every time, bro. Remember, remember episode fucking twelve with this oh, thing was like, all right, he goes, my balls. yeah, he got, he got, <laughs> yeah. hey, I got three words for y'all. What? He goes, 
smooth my balls. And we're like, like huh? Uh, <laughs> well, uh-huh. Well, hit him with a look. I'm really trying to understand. I got two words now. <laughs> oh, God. I, I got two words now. Y'all ready? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you ready? <laughs> there you go. Sure. Okay, all right, all right, I'll go. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, the suspense is going to make it worse. <laughs> all right, ready? Three, Three, two, one. Durable ass. Nope. Disagree. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Can I can, we get a third I have an explanation. Hey, can, oh, no, me, wait, wait, can me and PJ have our own version of episode 2 where it's just me and him? I'd be fine with that. Wait, wait, let me finish. Alright. There's a reason why. I thought this was wild too, but let's get into it. Alright, so apparently this is I will tell you the source where I got this from after, but apparently niggas has been Stuffing gerbil ass or gerbils in their assholes to get off. Uh huh. And okay. for some reason, this is just like a, a thing. A thing. And apparently, they, uh, um, I guess the gerbil died? I think it was like I was listening. Yeah. You said niggas were stuffing gerbils up their asses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, to get off. Dude, I know about this already. Holy really? shit, this is a thing. <laughs> I know what? about this. Do they die and they have to like get that shit out through surgery or some shit? What? <laughs> Am I okay. right? Niggas yeah. know about this? Yeah. Am I late? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I know about this. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Dude, the confusion is that me? I don't remember yeah. how I know about this shit. I just know. Okay, so the original story was like a nigga pulled up in a barber shop talking about his gerbil ass story or something like that. And <laughs> you know who I got this from? Go for it. Oh, you know who I got this from? Nick, uh, I'm sure you know him. Um, I got this from from Moon. Oh, okay, yeah, Moon would talk about this. I was just thinking that that is something that Moon would talk about. I was just So, I was that. at work. I was at work, and I saw that Moon was streaming early. I think it was like a- there was a recent, like, state of play or some shit. <clears throat> so, I pulled through, and I was like, okay, let me see what he's doing. I haven't watched a stream in a while. And I just hear him, so niggas has been stuck, stiff, uh, putting in gerbils up their assholes to get off. And I'm like, Huh? Like, <laughs> like I was, I wasn't even like dying. I was like, "Wow, this is actually interesting." And that's where he was, because he was watching like a barbershop video, and it just reminded him of it, I guess. Huh. And so Niggas that's the context. Wow. Oh, what? <laughs> My only question I is, I don't like, know. I don't know. I, I want to know one thing about the entire topic. Yeah. There's there's got to be a story behind this. <laughs> you know there has to. <laughs> and I just yeah. want to know. I just want to know why. <laughs> why and how really did it get to why. this? Why? <laughs> like at what point are you just like, you know, you know, we're all adults here. At what point are you just like watching porn or something? Right? Uh and it's just not working for you, and you're like, bro. Yeah, your first instinct is gerbil. Like in my like that gerbil in my cage, right? Dude said it's dude like said, it's like man. Fuck, fuck any kind of like toy, just, fuck like, any kind of like <laughs> fuck any kind of anything else. Yeah. Gerbil. Fuck that. Just go straight to it. Or you just like, man, that gerbil. <laughs> the nigga might be able to get the job done, you know what I'm saying? Like no how, way. how are you no. gonna how do you no even way. explain that shit? Not a shot. <laughs> oh, There's so many things God. that are wrong with yeah. it, though. Because it's like, bro, you put that man up there. 
You did that. <laughs> nah, bro. You put that man up there. How? <laughs> How? Yeah, you had a. You, you literally took off you your had pants. To, you had your pants. That's no, you do you know the kind of maneuvers you'd have to you pull to do some that? maneuvers? You gotta be working all like you had to. You doing a you job. Had, your thoughts. You had to be a. You had to be a hundred percent invested in this. There was no turning back for you. It was. It was go broke or, or fucking die. Like there was nothing else for you <laughs> to be like, yo. This durable could be the truth. Yeah, porn was not <laughs> enough for that nigga. Me getting off. Like, what? <laughs> Look, bro, for some people it's <laughs> not, but there are so many other options than your first option being a fucking gerbil. I just feel like he has you to had take to take it out of his ass. Dead. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Dead. <laughs> that nigga tied in his asshole. <laughs> that, that brings a whole new meaning. So it smells like something crawled up here and died. <laughs> like, <laughs> now, imagine a nigga just pull up to his room, bro. Just like, yo, what you see this nigga, like <laughs> hands down, just straight trying to just do that fucking gerbil dirty, and you're just like, <laughs> I don't even want to know. I just, I just. I left the We're not friends. In here, bro. We're not friends. Just know that. <laughs> Just know we can't be cool. Everybody got skeletons, cool, but dog. <laughs> dog. <laughs> gerbil. Bro, the gerbil's like oh the gerbil's God. only half the main problem. Yeah. You shoved it really? up your ass. <laughs> Even saying that shit out loud. It's so fucking goofy. This is like a cartoon subplot. This is a cartoon subplot, dog. This is a skit gone wrong. Yeah, it's this like... This skit gone wrong. You couldn't have just... I... You, you, like, bruh. <laughs> I want to skip to topic number two, Josh. <laughs> Oh, if this yeah, was wild, yeah. starting off wild, just yo, let's talk about some gerbil ass. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna take him. He's talking about gerbil ass. Like, I think this. I thought this man was talking about gerbil, but nah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah. I wish he was. I wish he was talking about just gerbil, because oh, so even that funny. would be better than this <laughs> yeah all right uh that was just a filler topic i got a i got a real one that was what uh, that was just that was like the get it started you know you just just kind of i mean you gotta, you gotta get started, the blood you know? flowing i guess but damn i didn't think it was gonna be like this i'm not gonna hold you yeah uh, <laughs> i was thinking of anything right, uh, i was not thinking of that <laughs> so i was like he could be talking about anything get to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what well, what do you want? What do you got then? What what's the deal for today? All right, I got a legit one. This might be a little not serious, but just like a good question. Um, okay. So, first of all, I want to give a shout out to um, I want to give a shout out to the homie Slime Boy. Um, he's been a recent uh, so, uh I would say a supporter of my channel, and me okay. him, you know, just seeing him support me and on instagram and shit like that i was like curious um checking out what he does because apparently he was posting his own videos so i was like okay let me go check this out right and um he actually does his own videos and he's quite entertaining the only thing is it's like his equipment is not the best like he's using a ps4 you know share play record button thing you know where you can like yeah. record your ps4 through that and then um apparently i asked him in one of his videos i was like yo like what do you use to edit your videos and he was like oh film filmora uh which is like a mobile app or something like that mm. um and i was like shocked because it did remind me if you have if you're uh, someone who's a content creator you got the youtube studio app um you can actually change your thumbnail you know, if you want to, you can put a thumbnail on there, just in case you don't have a, uh, you know, a computer. 
So that's what he kind of does. And he makes his thumbnails on his phone, I, I assume. And so mm. I was like, man, that's crazy. Like the things that we do just to get the work done, you know? And it just got me thinking like, that's also like, there's a flaws. There's some flaws to it, right? Like yeah. all of this shit that we do. So yeah. it just got me thinking like, okay, what do you guys think is, I guess, the disadvantages of being, I guess in general, like, like uh, of being an inspiring dream chaser, you know, just trying to get where you want to get in life. Like, what do you guys think the are the uh, major dif disadvantages, even maybe your own personal disadvantages? I wouldn't necessarily I can... call them. Oh, go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, I think one that we can probably all agree on is um, how much stress it adds to most of the things you do. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you agree always with that. try to find a way to relate it back to what you're doing. Yeah, yep. and that's, it's very hard to stay, like, <clears throat> it's, it's hard to just keep reminding yourself in the heat of all of it. I mean, yeah. unless, like, you're used to doing that, that's different, but it's like, I say, like, in the beginning, it's very hard to just, like, stay very persistent with the same, I'm gonna use this word, and I'm pretty sure that this is, like, zest, like, same, like, mm -hmm. attitude towards it, like, I'm doing this because, like, this is what I want to do, and, like, keep the same momentum. It's very yeah. fucking hard. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. And another thing, too, is I feel like... I mean, you know, of course, when you're in a situation like the homie Slime Boy, and by no means I'm, like, saying, like, oh, yo, his videos are trash. Not like, his videos are pretty much better than most people's content, you know, that probably wasted, like, thousands of dollars and on, like, equipment to co do content creation or whatever they do, and then they wind up not really liking it, you know? And so I think that's, like, like one of the disadvantages I see is... Like, I remember this feeling, and I still kind of have this feeling, where I got to, I think, like, 2016, um, a few years in consecration, I was just watching all these popular YouTubers with their fancy DSLR cameras, you know, their <clears throat> nice editing, all this other shit, and their, you know, good quality mic, and it just made me feel like, damn, like, I think the major disadvantage is, you know, um, depending on the person and, you know, like, sometimes you just, you don't have the right equipment, you know? Sometimes you, like, you're grinding in the paint and you kind of realize, yo, I feel like this is the next phase. I could get to it. For So, for someone who's, like, young, maybe not don't have a job or who's broke, whatever it is, you know, they can't invest that mo moment of time, you know, not having the equipment to do certain things that you really want to do that you know that you will be on it mm. kind of sucks sometimes, you know? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, just to add to so. Josh's, though, <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, and this also, I'll say this only because I feel like it's definitely stronger in Josh's case than my own, uh, just something mm. that I've seen. Mm. Uh, you're probably, if you can figure out how to do what you want to do uh, proficiently with what you have, mm. you'll mm. be nine times out of ten, in my opinion, much better than the person who has the like most expensive or like you know the thing that everyone says you need like all that shit like if you figure out how to do yeah. it with, like the <laughs> fucking bones type shit like if you're trying to make weapons and these niggas got steel and you got bones and you make weapons out of bones nigga you'll be better at making weapons in general than the nigga who makes it out of steel because yeah. you made that shit with bones yeah yeah, yeah exactly so there is yeah, disadvantages like but, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes it's not always the fact of, like, the shiny new thing is the best. And it's actually rarely the shiny new thing, if ever, in my opinion, uh, opinion that actually makes a yeah. difference. <clears throat> like, a game-changing difference yeah. is never something and, shiny. Mm-hmm. That's true. And that actually kind of brings me to this, you know, just similar to what we're, we're, what we're talking about now, like... I guess, like, what are some uh, advantages being, you know, trying to get where you want to get in life? Because that, like, right there where you were talking about where it's like, even though you got what you got, like, the equipment that you have, it may not be the best. 
if you can still find a way to do what you gotta do, bro, like, that is the, like, that is OD, bro. Like, I was sitting here using FL Studio Fruity Edition for a while, bro, like, and I didn't, yeah. like, I had to maneuver through pattern modes and shit like that. So, like, it was just like, hey, I can make a beat still. So, let's just get to work. Mm-hmm. Uh, before we move to advantages, no offense. <clears throat> I think one of the things that at least I oh, personally ahead. see as like I wouldn't say it's a disadvantage, but just like something to keep like in mind, uh, or at least like something mm-hmm. that you know, it does have its like damn moments. Uh, it's kind of fucking lonely. Yeah, there's not oh, a lot yeah. of people on yeah. the road, dog. <clears throat> Uh, yeah. it's worth it mm-hmm. because you're gonna get what you need, and you're gonna get what you want out of it. But I would be straight up lying to you if I was like, "Yo, you know, everyone's gonna understand like what you're trying to do. Everyone's gonna understand exactly what it's gonna take for you to go through this kind of thing that you're going through." And you're always just gonna have yeah. people who are like in your corner. I feel like the a really hard but essential part is finding people that are in your corner consistently. Mm. Yeah, that's true. And to like, like it's cool if add on to five that, seconds, but yeah, go ahead. No, like yeah, just to piggyback of what you're saying too. Like also, it's kind of like like when you're in it and you like the only one essentially on your team trying to do what you got to do. It's hard to focus when you got distractions, and that could be like people around you or people who don't understand that you're ch- chasing this invisible road that's going to show clearly clear to you but th- they don't see that so they give you a certain type of energy that basically tries to deter you from that path mm-hmm. and i mean so yeah that's it's, one disadvantage it's also uh easy to um <clears throat> or at least this is something i've experienced is it's easy to uh it's easy to compare yourself. To oh what other yeah. People are doing. It's very easy to compare yourself to what other people are doing. Mm-hmm. And so that's something that you always have to be wary of. Is it's like you can. It's like how do I read this? It's good to acknowledge where you're at in terms of like where you stand, com- like as opposed to where this guy stands, like somebody that you maybe look up to or something even though i i generally don't tend to do that but if there's like a certain person that you're like yeah he's really good at this so i want to be able to like obtain the same amount of skill as he has at this then it's fine to be self-aware enough to know where you stand compared to that but to just compare yourself to other niggas doing the same stuff is like terrible because it's just like oh why can't i do this why can't i do it like that like it's that's a very big thing you can fall into well i think it's very easy to fall into like kind of just going off that though i think it should be to me like i'll just use entrepreneurship because it's kind of like the thing the word that everyone uses when it comes to terms of like following your own path yeah type of thing everyone's like oh you're an entrepreneur because you don't listen or you don't like let other people either control your dreams or you know like shit like that you're just an entrepreneur yeah yeah Comparing yourself to people <clears throat> kind of like I'd say the main thing that at least in my like situation that I have to worry about is distractions. And they rarely come from without. Mm. Like rarely. It's rarely that I have to be like I'm distracted because this person is, you know, yada, yada, yada. And I'm not saying that there wouldn't be any, because, like, okay, for example, if I'm making a beat and someone comes upstairs, I'm not going to be in it, like, as much because it's, like, there's someone right here. And unless you're also working on the project, it's just kind of, like, there's two ideas going at the same time. That's a whole train of thought, yada, yada, yada. But, like... Comparing yourself to other people, even if it is like, I do like where this person's at, you have to be careful with that because it could turn into the opposite very, very quickly. Because because you admire them so much, it's so easy for that shit to shift, and you won't even notice it. 
until wow. it's like, why is my yeah. shit not like this? But it didn't start out like, oh, why is my shit not like this? It started out like, bruh, this person's amount of skill, stuff like that is like, I've, it's very admirable. And like, you know, I respect their amount of work that they put into this. And then that can easily turn into just like, why does this not end up like that? Like, why can't I get it to either sound like this or why can't I get like edits to be like this dude or like anything? So I think it should always come from exactly. You got to use like a specific mindset template, like a specific place it has to come from. It has to come from you. So like it honestly, in my opinion, now I'm not like the end all be all known fucking expert on, you know, entrepreneurship or following your fucking dreams. It's like, it's probably best if it comes from like, I like blank or like not like, oh, well, I respect this person, so, like, I want to be on the same level as them. Just kind of, like, I'm going to keep going until I reach a level of expertise that I can like as I do this person. Like, you got to really change the perspective of a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can agree with that. In terms of That's advantages, though, in terms of advantages, though, is, um, I mean... Obviously, uh, it's a lot more fun to succeed at what you want to do. Mm -hmm. It's, there's a, it's, there's like a different sense of fulfillment that comes with it than anything else, I I guess. Mm. So it's like, it, I succeeded doing what I wanted to do in whatever, like, whether it be like a small goal or like a big goal or whatever. It's like, you know, let's say I was like, let's say I just started, I just started a YouTube channel. It was like, I want to get a hundred subs, right? And mm-hmm. I got to a hundred subs. Then I'd be like, oh mm-hmm. shit. You know, it's, it's like that. There's a different sense of fulfillment that comes with succeeding. It's something that you want to do rather than anything else. That That's the facts, it. man. Another thing is uh training grounds. Like like they you get you get a lot of training, bruh. Like just off of the fact that there's gonna be failure. That's mm. one thing that I will say that you have to get used to. Anyone who's trying to do this, man, is there's gonna be failure. But a lot of people look at failure as that's just, you know not the move but if anything man your fails will teach you more than your wins bruh at least for my situation because oh my god i learned a lot especially with youtube and like (laughs) i had the training grounds bruh you (laughs) know (laughs) pre-2018 pre-2018 josh craft videos man i'm telling you just trial and error just cringing this figuring how to make thumbnails like my thumbnails was made off of pixel art for like centuries <laughs> so it's like getting used to that and then somehow like it also benefits me because if 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 you guys know anything about me personally i work at a radio station job um but the only reason why i got the job is because i instead of you know listening to my parents saying yo i don't think you need to be wasting your time editing videos I just made videos. I I said fuck that, and now that got me a job, you know. Also, so, uh, for mean... reference, uh, sorry to cut you off. For reference, on uh, PJ, no, you good? PJ earlier, uh, PJ is playing Destiny Two right now. <laughs> for those that don't know. Oh no, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't trying to cut that. Yeah, I just felt the cliff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was just I just wanted people to know so that they didn't. It, think that pj was over here just like losing his damn mind or something i mean i didn't have a moment whenever josh was nah, talking but it uh, wasn't it bro wasn't i'm playing like too <laughs> yeah i'm playing uh, too i'm I just fucking around now control uh, but anyway getting used to failure type of thing i think in like and this is just like a personal thing right now uh i think that's probably what i actually have to like really get over is like the getting mm-hmm. used to that aspect, you know? Yeah. To where it's like, don't take it as such like a big fucking deal. That like it mm-hmm. didn't work this time. 
Because, mm. like you said, yeah, it's like, true. Training ground shit, where it's like you're gonna fucking take L's, and it's not even just like I don't know. You kind of you got to change the way you look at a lot. I'd say that's a I I don't say I don't think this is a disadvantage or an advantage. I think this is just kind of like a ground rule. Is like mm -hmm. your perspective is not gonna stay the same ever. <laughs> Never. Yeah. Unless you just like woke up and were like, I choose wisdom and knowledge, and you just had that shit running since like you were conceived, then like your perspective on everything you do is gonna fucking change. Yeah. <clears throat> it's the facts, bro. Yeah. Um, so anyone just anyone who's trying to do it, if I had to give um anyone who's trying to actually grow um i might even honestly like once this comes out on youtube i might clip this and like send this to homie uh blind boy but anyone who's trying to uh grind on youtube bro or just anything you're doing man the number one thing to realize is that um you know your weakness is your strength sometimes you know like sometimes you'll learn a lot from your weaknesses and getting comfortable with that will teach you a lot especially with the failures that you do like you'll grow and learn a lot from it and just remember consistency shows that you're serious like there's not one day in mind where like you're doing something and you're doing it repeatedly over and over where you didn't learn something at least something from it or take away something like y'all y'all probably were taking your driver's license test you finally got the, you know, the license and you're like, man, I'm a, I suck at driving. Now a year later, you're like, man, I hate this shit, you know, and you're driving fluently. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, all it is, is just don't focus too much on what's going to happen, bro. Just focus on what you believe in, bro. Like, just focus on what you said you wanted to do and just keep doing it until something happens. You know, like, that's the one thing. If you keep doing something, bro something's bound to happen bruh that's just the facts bruh so me to you bruh you got this uh don't doubt well, yourself he at all like right now. and he always man i'm gonna be that unk that, that just that. spitting that fucking that. i'm gonna be that unk just you know spilling knowledge bruh you know that's what i'm right. saying Cause, yeah real talk nobody told me this shit so no, we gotta find out new. our own it's true. Somebody, somebody gotta have that rule. Yeah, that's the facts. <laughs> um, but I don't know if you want to keep going deep or you want to switch up the up to you. topic. I don't care either way. It's, I'm chilling. I I I got another that. topic, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, because it's kind of similar to this. Okay. But so, I don't know. Let's go then. Okay, all right. We're going in. We're okay. Going in. We go stupid. <clears throat> Crazy. All right, so, uh, I'm sure y'all know who, uh, Young Don the Sauce God is. Yeah. Yeah, PJ. Is he, know, like, you known like that? Him, um, I was about to say, I was like, is he known like that? Because I swear I caught that nigga before he blew up. <laughs> nah, like, I think it was usually just, like, I think just Don or Young Don or something like that, but then, you know. It's just Young Don the Sauce God, just like that. So, but um, PJ, did you know he has a podcast? Uh yeah. I okay, so I started it, like, it all, but yeah, I do know he has one. Yeah, so he does it with this homie. Uh, but shout out to them. But like, he was he gets deep on that shit, and he was talking about something that I would say that's kind of similar to what we were just talking about. But he was talking about uh, the perspectives of your higher self and your lower self. So I don't know if you guys know anything about that, but I can't. I can't explain. Um, just depends. But but I, pretty much, um, yeah, pretty much, your higher self is the person that's more more sensible right but it's harder to like please i guess in a way okay um 
your lower self is more easier to please, uh, more vulnerable as well. But obviously, your lower self is the kind of like your weakness in a way. Um, so he kind of the way he explained it is, it's kind of like your flesh. You know what I'm saying? Like your your body is always materialistic. You know what I'm saying? Like we okay. just got certain yeah. sins that we do that you know that just happens right so that would be pretty much your lower self where oh i'm trying to lose weight ah uh, that honey bun looking kind of thick though you know like that's the lower mm -hmm. self right and that means in general with anything right okay so then your higher self is the one who's like yo i'm diligent very mindful um that one that higher self is always the one who's trying to improve trying to get where they want to get mm. and doing shit that is more harder for you to kind of like enjoy as well like shit like waking up in the morning to do what you got to do when you kind of tired you know what i'm saying so if i were to ratio this or in a percentage 80 percent is probably your lower self controlling how you feel and what you do 20% is your higher self being the one who's uh, okay. kind of like there. Yeah. yeah. So I thought it was interesting because I thought of something like this too when I like, like when I usually like when I'm driving to work, I just be like thinking, kind of like meditating in a way. And like, I just be thinking like, there's always like a demon inside of us. Like, and it's like, I don't think we can get rid of it. I think we can tame it well, in a way yeah, like kind of where it doesn't yeah, yeah 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 so it doesn't control us so i was kind of wondering what your thoughts on it because he was pretty much saying that in order to really grow or do better in your life you gotta be more with your higher self you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying and he was kind of pointing out how like that's our greatest weakness is always letting our lower self take control interesting okay yeah uh so uh, go ahead you want to go after i wasn't trying to cut anyone off uh, that's uh, internet fuck one of y'all go i mean y'all 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 were talking so one of y'all gotta go <laughs> my internet fuck no you're you're good oh okay. i didn't know because i asked a question but it like timed out or something um mm -hmm. i don't know i kind of agree more okay um because i know there's just like i think it's also just like i think it is like your higher self would be harder to please you know what i mean yeah in a way only because it it just takes more it takes more of you to please your higher self it takes less of you to please your lower self mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and like for example, sampler, example, uh, like you know, whenever it's like okay, let's say you fuck up, right? And mm -hmm. like your first thing is to be like, okay, I could probably just like make up some fucking whack excuse to take the blame off of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lower self. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like this also kind of goes to an idea I have about um. Well, I don't, it's not my idea, obviously, but uh, I think it was the Jock something. It's like the Jock podcast or something. Uh, my mm -hmm. sister showed it to me, and it was mm -hmm. about ego <clears throat> and how it was like your ego will, like, your ego wants to protect you uh, to the point where, mm -hmm. like, it will kill you. Like, it mm. loves you to death. It loves you that much. Okay. And, mm. you know, my ideas of love are kind of different. Mm -hmm. But, um, I don't disagree. See you know, to where it's saying. just kind of like a, like, like, it'll be, like, as on your side as it needs to be. So if it's like, I don't want you to get hurt, so I'm gonna protect you, so that way, like, you don't get hurt. So, like, your ego's the type where it's like, it'll tell you shit like, ah, like, and it always goes against your higher self. Technically, your higher self is like, I can do this, you know, like, like we can do this, like, you know, 
we're not we're very capable stuff like that like it's always gonna be like do the harder thing but it's usually not because it doesn't think you can do the higher thing i don't think that's a thing either mm. like i feel like oftentimes we're rarely incapable of doing something it's just a matter of trying really did we really try to do that thing that we said we were trying to do whenever it didn't work out stuff like that that and did were we in the right mind like there's a lot of stuff that goes into you know all that shit but yeah you know, i kind of think like your ego is like your lower self and it takes less of you and it's more like someone else to kind of like make it to where it's like okay like let's say i'm like all mm -hmm. right i'm gonna wake up at four and i'm gonna go to the gym okay <clears throat> Your ego is going to find every fucking excuse in the book to find out some way, shape, or form as to how it's not your fault that you didn't wake up to go to the gym. Mm -hmm. It's something else's fault, but it's not your fault. Okay. Or it can do the opposite. It can belittle you or beat you up to where it is your fault so that way you don't do it again so that way you don't get hurt with the expectations that you set out before like you see what i mean okay it's yeah. like shit like that where it's either like it'll either victimize or like belittle and destroy to where it's like oh that's like you know you, you just didn't have it you know like it, it's probably just not for you like let's say I, you want to be like a fucking world-class piano player or like a world-class musician but practice is fucking hard because you're trying to be world-class little mm -hmm. like lower self is gonna be like yo either it's gonna be like oh it's not your fault that you didn't practice today because like you know you were busy and everybody god knows fucking like you weren't busy but your uh -huh. lower self is gonna tell you like no nah, like you were busy you know you were watching that show or like you know something like that it's like the one that makes mm. excuses yeah, that's like, true. Stuff like that. It'll either make excuses or like it'll find a way to stop you from doing whatever it is that actually like betters you long term. Mm hmm. That's the truth. Yeah, like kind of like what we were talking about uh, yesterday, PJ, where. It just almost seems like we got to jump in the fire, bro. Like, more. Yeah. Because that's the other thing. It's just more of like, you it can't control. Hurts. Yeah. It's going to hurt something. Like, and I feel like nine times out of mm -hmm. ten, it's also asking for like, it's asking for like you. Like, lower self doesn't really ask for you in the short term. That's what I feel like it would probably be something that's kind of interesting like i feel like your lower self doesn't ask for you short term it asks for like or it doesn't ask for you long term it asks for you short term and like consequently fucks up long term yeah and then your higher self asks for long term and fucks up short term so like you won't be able to do like sometimes it's just like okay like let's say you're broke and then your friends are like, yo, let's go out to eat. Lower self is like, nigga, treat yourself. Come on now. Higher self is like, bet you broke. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Yeah. Those are just kind of my thoughts. Uh, what about you, Nick? Um, I, I was kind of taking over a bit. Hmm. I can agree. I can agree with the concept. My thing with it is, um, how do I word this? I don't really, I don't know. I don't have too much to say on the matter. You kind of said everything I would have said in all honesty. Hmm. Like okay. It's like both sides of you want 
your best interest slash happiness, but one side wants your happiness short term, one side wants your happiness long term. Like it's mm. that's it. That's a great way of saying it. That's that's it. It's and it's like um that that's why wow. either that's why you have to make sacrifices for everything, right? Like yeah. mm -hmm. for example, um Let's say you're like super strict on working out and dieting and shit. And let's say you've been keeping this shit up for a long ass time, right? Like you've been keeping this up six months to a year. Okay. You've been actually mm -hmm. going it. And you have the opportunity to be like, and let's say you set up a cheat day like once every two weeks, right? Like mm -hmm. once every two weeks, you can just eat whatever, whatever, right? And let's say that. The day after the cheat days, usually when you go super fucking hard, like you start going in, um, and let's say you're sick that day, so you end up not going in, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes the thing that uh, wants your short term happiness will actively go against you in that regard, because it's like, because then you're th sitting there thinking like, um, not only does that knock you out of like the flow of it, obviously. But also, it's like, I didn't fucking, I didn't work out today, you know? It's like, yeah. I, this is supposed to be the day that I go the hardest, and I fucking skipped it. And I haven't skipped a day in fucking, like, eight months. And so, yeah. now you're just sitting there super fucking <clears throat> pissed off, and, like, you don't know what to do, and eventually, like... You end up gonna you're gonna end up thinking throughout the day either I'm gonna go the hardest I've ever gone tomorrow, which will probably end up being self damaging, or I'm I don't even want to do this shit anymore, which will also be self damaging. And so it's it's a constant balance that you have to keep up with both sides of yourself when it comes to literally anything. Hmm. The question is though, which one caused greater pain? Which one causes a greater pain? Um, I think that varies on the person. And the reason I you say that so? is because I think if you're, like, let's say you're a more, like, um, you know what? I'll just say a more emotional person. Because, like, this could apply to specific types of people, like, if you have like um if you're like super depressed or have ADHD or something then the thing that wants your short term success is going to be the thing that fucks you up the most right cuz that's also the thing that's going to end up making you uh talk yourself out of things the most but for the thing that wants your happiness in long term if you're like a super like if you're like a super outgoing, like extroverted person, I think would actually be the worst option. Your long term, you think would be the worst option if you're super outgoing and I guess. Yeah, because I think the super outgoing extroverted type of person will be thinking like, um, they're, they're probably the type of person that likes pleasing people. They're probably the type of person that finds their happiness or self-worth based on how like they make other people feel. So are we talking about what do you mean by the most damage, Josh? Like, um, in general, I... with oh yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, I'm just saying, like, uh, in general, with uh, what's really gonna be better for you? Like, oh, we we can all both agree that, like, or yeah, all agree that it's they're both gonna cause pain, right? whether which one we do you know which one route we go to but which one's just i'm essentially saying which one's better for you like like ultimately better which one's ultimately better yeah for your life um i mean just you know only reason i was asking is because uh like nick made a point but i was just like if we're talking about which one is yeah like i thought we were talking about like which one's better because like it could actually change for different people, you know what I mean? Like he said, where it's like for different people, it might be like like extroverted people or like people pleasers. It's like, okay, well, like this person needs me to like 
you know, do this now. But yeah, I think we can probably all agree that being a people pleaser doesn't actually help you at all, really. Like, personally help you, not very much, if at all. That's true. But that's what I mean. Mm. Like, I think it... Lo- how do I explain this? So, let's say that you're the type of person that is, like, super outgoing, super extroverted, and you you like making other people happy, and you're the type of person that, like, kind of gauges your own self-worth based on how you make other people feel or how you feel about, like, other people, right? And mm-hmm. I think the thing that wants you happiest long-term in that case is the thing is the thing that tells you, like, okay, anytime this person needs this, I got to do that. Like, you set unnecessary expectations on yourself in a way like, like other people. I see what you're saying. Like, that, not just, like, the friendship, but, like, also just in general. Like, if yeah. they're, they say, like, they got a tax or a goal at hand, they know they got to, they want to, you know, whatever they want to do with their life, right? Ultimately, you know, something who someone who's more or going for the higher self is like okay i want to you know do the shit that not really comfortable doing but it'll help me grow but they're more like okay i don't mind like doing this or doing this it ultimately makes me happy even if i'm not like you know the best at yeah, like achieving goals or anything it like doesn't that doesn't let them chase what they want to do yeah they, they kind of live in the up. moment type beat yeah because they place a value on other people rather than themselves. So in that situation, I think the thing that wants them to be happiest long-term would be the wrong option. Because what would make them happier short-term is them actually taking, you know, a break from that constant trying to please other people and being like, okay, maybe I could do this or I could work on this. Meanwhile, for people that are more like, uh, let's say, like less physically oriented, obviously, or like you know more emotional or um more introverted the thing that wants them happiest long term is probably the thing that they should go after right because it's like because at that point it's like um you know what i want to do in the short term is i want to like you know like a lot of those types of people as one of those types of people are the type of people to either find a way to make an excuse or find a way to beat themselves up about shit right and it's like the thing that wants you happiest long term is the thing that's going to tell you like what josh said um that failure doesn't matter just go next it's going to be the thing that tells you that okay i want to do this goal this is the goal i'm pursuing so this is where i'm going to head like you're looking at that goal as it is not what you're doing to get to that goal and how you could be fucking those up Mm. that's the so truth it, and like there are obviously other types of people it's just those are my two examples like i think it really does differ from person to person mm-hmm. I, I see think that's what makes it so hard is trying to find which one of those fits your type of person so what would you say like like if you had to look at your shit like just i'm asking like both of y'all and including myself like which person are you like are you more higher self or lower self um higher self okay uh currently lower self currently lower self okay but i think the thing that would work for my type of person is higher self thinking but what I place value upon currently is the lower self because it's extremely easy for me to find faults in the things that I do. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Um. Yeah, I'm. I'm definitely higher self. Uh, no doubt about it. Like it's gotten to a point where I don't know. I mean, I guess it's a good thing, but like I, I got into this. They call it hustle porn. I don't know why, but it's just like that person who always wants to keep doing shit doesn't really let go, doesn't really, you know what I'm saying? They don't like to take breaks. Like it's gotten to the point where I'm a fast eater, 
Like, I will watch something, like, like maybe I'll do an anime. Like, I don't know if you've been watching my anime reactions, but notice how I'm always eating shit. It's because yeah. I'm like, oh, I can knock this shit out while I'm eating. You know, like, I don't, I don't, you know, I want this shit done. I don't like to waste time at all. And so when I do waste time, it's like something I'm learning from it, you know? Yeah. And so it, it really, like, irks me to a point where I really can't, you know just stay stagnant where i'm not in a state of yeah. mind where i'm like okay i want to do that shit i think that that kind of thought process can sometimes also be de uh detrimental mentally because mm -hmm. I, yeah. I think the concept of not allowing yourself to do certain things because you deem it as a waste of time is kind of can like fuck you up yeah and that's the and one like, thing i've been learning and this is, I mean, this is probably how it is, it's just me assuming, is that I would assume it's easier to have fun with things, just as a whole, in general. Um, it's like, wait, it's easier to have fun? Because it's, it's like, wait, what? You said it's easier to have fun with things? No, harder. Oh. Um, it'd be, uh, at least I would think that with that kind of mindset, it would be harder to have fun with things. I don't know if you can attest to that, Josh, but just in general. Um, more like, like normal shit that, you know, a lower self will have fun with. I would say it's harder to have fun, but like shit, like I personally have fun, like doing my shit. Like I have, I have kind of have fun where it's like, I know I have a packed schedule and I'm going to do it. Like, I don't know why. That just kind of makes me happy. Like, oh, okay, I'm busy. Okay. I don't like to, you know, feel like I'm not there. Then I'm not, you know, not doing anything. Then I'm not having fun. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, that's just how I, kind of my perspective. I don't know anyone else on their perspective if they're, you know, a higher self or lower self. But one thing I know for sure, like, every day, I'm always test like, trying to poke at a weakness pet peeves shit like that like it's gotten to the point where i don't talk back to my parents anymore um i had a problem with it obviously it's like quelled down immensely when i got like past 18 and shit but it was to, now, now it's to the point where like, like i literally won't argue with my mom about like stupid crap that i wouldn't even like make the slightest remark i'll just say yes ma'am I've been saying that shit too. Like I've been on that shit because it's just like it came up to my mind. Like you know, this is a waste of time. This is not. If anything, you may get better results. Not you know going the full three sixty doing this shit that you usually do. And yeah, I just I've been doing that. Like I started taking cold showers uh, just to wake my ass up. I don't know. I just like being uncomfortable sometimes. I, started, I see. I started doing that too. Actually, I started doing cold showers recently as well. Not always. Oh, always, really? But I guess everybody's on the cold shower that. wave, huh, boys? Yeah. I don't take the whole cold shower. What I'll do is like, I'll take a shower, and then at the end of that shit, I'll just turn that bitch all the way down and get that like last maybe like minute or so, and just be like. Motherfucker, <laughs> like you just did that. Well, like, I mean, yeah. Well, here's the thing, though, else. is that I take really fucking long showers. Oh no, I'm not mm -hmm. taking a. I'm not taking a long ass cold shower. Not yet, no, bro. I, 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 I had like a like forty minute one yesterday. Jesus Christ! And that shit hit different. I'm not gonna hold you. <laughs> That's a hit different. But, I mean, you're saving water, like, you know, not turning it to, you know, yeah. hot and shit well, like I mean, that. So. It just, like I said, I just take long-ass showers. Are you sure sometimes they're hot, still. sometimes they're cold. So. Is that, like, factual? I think so, because every single... I, I mean, I, this is just from my mom yelling at me, like, turn it to cold or something. You're wasting money or, I don't know, shit like the water bill. You're turning it up or whatever. I would, uh, I would always hear that, so I was just like, okay. Know, that sounds like some real shit, low-key. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm not sure how legit it is, but yeah, I just always hear that. I'm like, okay, all but right, I bet. Mean, uh, I started doing that because I started going, like, super hard on working out in the past few months. 
So Okay. <coughs> it just kind of like fits that, I guess. Yeah. And like just to add to that higher self shit like doing stuff in the morning, I'm usually I I, I guess I'm a, usually a morning person, but for the most part doing some like extra shit in the morning is not always pleasant you know obviously like working out in the morning like we all been doing that type of shit in the morning where it's like we may not like it but fuck it like it's gonna get us up and we're gonna get our day running you know so mm. i've been doing that shit too so yeah ah. the funny <laughs> so, thing is yeah oh yeah not good um no you got it I was, I was just padding anyways. Oh. Go for it. I didn't think I was a morning person. I'd say like, in terms of like lower self, higher self, I like to be more in tune with my higher self, and just more of like a, like, we're just gonna do, like, I feel like short term matters, in some like instances. Yeah, for sure. But it's rare to where it like matters matter because I feel like all right so like uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this but you know the quadrant the one to four quadrant um, priority sheet. Nope. So do I have this talking about right foil here? or something? No. Okay, I have it right here. Actually, think you're playing four square. So what you do is you would um, make four squares, and there's four categories. Okay. So like on the left you would put not important and important, and then up top you right. put urgent and not oh, urgent. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, yeah, yeah. Quadrant two is the not urgent important quadrant, which is the most important quadrant out of all four of them. Mm -hmm. hmm. But let's say, but quadrant, I'd say like four is not urgent, not important. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, so three and four probably take up most time to where it's like, it's either you have the urgent, not important, which is like, it's something that does kind of demand attention, but it's not something that is important to your person. That's quadrant three, right? Okay. So, like, right now, just, like, personally, I like to be more in, like, quadrant two, which is, like, the not urgent important category, because that's the one that you have the least amount of time to, to do. Mm -hmm. You think that you, because it's not urgent, you know what I mean, you think you have more time to do it, but that's the one that you don't get around to doing ever, because it's not urgent. And then most of the time you do urgent stuff that's either not important and urgent and important is just like emergencies and crisis. Like if you're in quadrant one a lot, you're a crisis manager type shit. Mm -hmm. So mm. like I would like to be because currently I'd say I am more lower self. But as Josh knows, um, higher self is the fire. So I feel like like I think that even though, like, if you were to, like, if short term stuff, it's not that short term stuff doesn't bring happiness. I feel like it's more like which version of happiness do you really want? Because if you were to ask yeah. someone, like, you can either have, I'll, we'll, we'll use the, you know, money doesn't buy happiness, but if you were to tell someone, I'll give you a million dollars today, mm -hmm. right? Or you could tell someone, I'll give you a penny a day, and it will double. I'll give you a penny today, and it'll double every day for the rest of your life. Or I'll give you a million dollars right now. Mm -hmm. How many people are going to mm. take that motherfucking penny? Yep. The penny that doubles <laughs> in value every day. There's not a lot of niggas wow. who are like, yo, it's a fucking penny. You see a goddamn penny. Mm -hmm. So what you gonna do? You like now? Nah, I'm taking that fucking million. You know what I could get with a mill? I could buy a million pennies. Not actual math, obviously, but it's like, yeah, you know what I mean. Like you think like that. So it's like 
I think the short term happiness definitely has its purpose, but it's more detrimental because it's the short term happiness that doesn't it's the long term happiness that is pleasing in hindsight It is the short term happiness that is fleeting in hindsight. Mm -hmm. Like short term happiness don't stack up okay. like long term does. Okay. So like even while I do engage in more, I feel like personally, short term, uh, it's not what I actually want. I don't want short term because it just doesn't, you know, stack up. Like I said, it's more of just like a, exactly. I got it done now. You know, cool, quick fix kind of method versus like that penny that doubles in value every day. Because at the end of the hmm. day, I think after like a year. 365 days. Think about it. You start a day with one penny, then you got two, then four, and you got then four, eight. then you got eight. It yeah. doubles the value in day every day. So by 365 days, I'm pretty sure you already passed a million. Passed a million after like a month. Huh. You know what I mean? So the nigga who took the mill today really got fucked over. Thanks. So like. Just me personally, I'm trying to get more uh, in tune with the higher self. I think it's also just like where you said it's harder to please. I believe that shit a lot. I think that's the one that's just kind of like it asks for a lot of you and you don't want to give up yourself. At least me personally, I don't really want to give up myself like that. It asks for a lot of you, if damn near all of it. Your short term self doesn't ask for you. Wow. It asks for other people. Or other things, in my opinion, just like my, you know, shit. Mm -hmm. And then giving up yourself is also fucking hard, and it hurts. Like the pain of short term, I feel like is, I'll say, you know, it, they kind of go hand in hand. So like the pain of short term is short term until it's the long run, and the pain of the long run is, it feels like it's fucking forever until it's been the long run. You feel me? If that makes sense? Yeah. Like, okay, for example, this one thing that I think me, Ben, and I was talking to my brother about it too. Um, I'm 6'1". Yeah. If there's one thing that I was like, we actually could have done blank. Actually, I think I talked to Josh about this yesterday. Okay. I don't even really, I'm not even going to hold you, like football. Yeah. But I do like being active because um if there was something that if I were not to be try if I weren't trying to be do mute trying to do music, can't speak, uh I'd want to be fighting. I'd want to be a fighter. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, like Ben, like Ben. Yeah. yeah. It's just really I don't know, like there's just something about like physical activity like concentrated physical activity that's just like i don't know it's like a fucking it's like a high or something like you just yeah it's just different and i mean everyone probably has their thing but like that would be mine so like if i were to do football or something you know i probably would have gotten a head start on just like being a little bit more athletic mm. Mm -hmm. um and the only reason that i didn't really do football is because uh i just didn't try mm -hmm. like that's it because i just didn't want to deal with it at that time i was like ah you know what's it gonna matter yada 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 i don't want to do football and it's not even really that i didn't want to do football it was just that i didn't want to try so i took short term of just being like eh, mm. i don't have to try Long term is I have to try. I have to go to this thing every single day. I got to do this every single day. Like, it's a lot harder to stay consistent than it is to do, like, um, like small or like big inconsistent bursts is a lot easier than being inconsistently. It's easier to be like a C tier and then like bump up to A than it is to maintain S. Mm. 
You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's like, you know, C is like lower self. C doesn't, or like lower self doesn't necessarily mean that it's just like the shittiest that you could possibly be, obviously. But C's not necessarily taking your ass to B either. Yeah. He's just fine with C. And there's nothing wrong with staying at C if that's what you want. But, you know, there are perks to both. Yeah. And I mean, that kind of, this is a, sort of related to that. Uh, you saying that totally reminded me of how I treated school. But at the same time, as time has gone on, I've regretted how bad I did in school less. I, like, oh yeah, what? Because I For me, that it just didn't do shit for me. Mm-hmm. Like, it meant nothing as to what I wanted to do long-term regardless. So the fact that it's so easy to scam the fucking American education system, I was just like, yeah, fuck it. And then after I stopped, finished school, um, I, like, for a while I was like, fuck, I should have done better in school. Like, what if I end up wanting to do this or do that? And then I was just like, at what point in this day and age does that matter? And also, th- what did school do for me? Like, it did nothing to, it did nothing for anything I wanted to do. Because pretty much anything that I could have learned from school, I already knew. I will say me personally, I, my personal stuff, I disagree. Mm-hmm. Um. And this is one of those, like, you know, um, die on your own sword type of things for me. Okay. To where it's like, I'd say, like, the one thing that honestly, like, if it was just like, damn, I should have done better in school, it's really, like, academically, eh. Uh, and not even just, like, athletically. Just mentally was the main like throwback for me. Mm -hmm. Um, So do you know about like stuff about like a poor mentality type of thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you take stuff like I feel like school kind of like okay like let's say because okay like I didn't do terrible in school. And, I mean, I told my parents this, like, the other day, and my mom thinks that I pretty much just went through school with, like, a C, and then, like, just bumped that shit up, which I did in classes that were hard, because I didn't want to study, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's harder to maintain an S than it is to maintain a C and then bring up to an A. Yep. You're still not going to be an S, though. Mm Mm-hmm. S is, to me, like, The only way to get to S is with consistency. There's no way you can't miraculously pull an S. Mm -hmm. Like, personally. But because I didn't want to do it, or, like, I didn't want to, like, like, put in the work, or, like, try. To where it's, like... Now, it's not that I just didn't, like, try. I just didn't, like, put in the, um, like, the amount of work that was, like, necessary, necessary, in order to get, like, an S. See, that's the difference between you and me. I legitimately, literally didn't try in school. Because I was, yeah. Because like I said, my whole mentality was, basically once I got to mental school was, this does nothing for me. Hmm. Okay, I have a question. Hmm. Well, okay, I'll ask you my question after. But, uh, go for it. Pretty much like, just me being like, you know, I don't want to, like, put in the work, right? Like, I don't want to put in the effort. So, like, yeah. or, like, why put in the effort? Mm-hmm. When it comes around, even if it's, like, this isn't what I want to do, so why put in the consistency or the effort, the 100%, like, they're asking for your 100% in this type of stuff. Yeah. Why would I do that? And this isn't even what I want to do, right? Mm-hmm. When it comes around, and this is just what I've learned recently, that, you know, you didn't put in your 100 because you didn't really want to do it anyway, right? Yep. 
you're not going to know how. Mm -hmm. Because you've never done it. If you've never put in your 100, you don't know what it looks like from you. Mm -hmm. Not to say that you can't do it. It's going to be increasingly harder, though, because where school would have prepared you to put your 100 forward, you vetoed putting your 100 forward. So you don't know how to put yeah. your 100 forward. So when it comes to something that you actually want to do, you do not know how. You can't. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, just in those regards for me, that's where I'm just kind of like, okay. That's fair. I probably could have at I least, you know, done something along those lines because I don't have, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I can understand that. Um. Well, you know, you got anything to say, Josh? Because I don't want to take over conversation or anything. Oh, no. Nah, uh, yeah, I'm just listening, hearing you. Uh, what you guys have to say about it. Um, I will say, nah, I might be wrong, but no, just no. looking at it more, there is like a uh, someone who just lives, you know, short term. That is true, where it's like, Anyone can live short term and be okay, or you know, live you know on the lower side. But I think also it's like there could be an alternate term timeline where if they did try uh, their higher self, they would have had I guess greater rewards on the table. Possible, possible. possibly. That's one thing I will say that. Uh, mm they wind up maybe missing out on seeing if that was going to be the case for them. Yeah, I mean, I agree sure. with that only because, like, once again, nigga, hindsight's twenty twenty, so it's like, <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at it um, like, damn. And they're like, you're gonna have regrets after high school. And I'm like, alright, you know. But I mean, that's probably the first mistake, at least like me personally, where it's like, if you scoff at, like, you know, some shit where it's like what do you know you know type thing it's like yeah. that's a very not um, good way and it's not even just like that it's not good to like it's not even just like oh like that's rude it's like you're kind of doing yourself a disservice when you do that because you immediately cut off anything that you may learn at all mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah yeah go ahead. Um, I was gonna ask, what was the question you were gonna ask? Um, okay, so, and this isn't to like be rude or anything. I well, just want to pick your brain. You said, okay. wait, what? You talking to me, Josh? There was some lag. I didn't hear you. What you said? Oh, uh, he. Uh, I was, he was asking me a question, and I was asking him what uh, he wanted to, what his question was. Oh, okay. Did you hear that? Oh, okay. Yeah, so, no, uh, did you answer your question? Um, okay, so you said, like, pretty much, like, you didn't really care for school because you were kind of, like, um, like, you already knew, what the fuck is this? Sorry, wall. Like, you already knew, like, pretty much you just felt like you already knew everything, right? Not necessarily, I felt like they couldn't teach me anything. It's not that I knew everything. It's that they could. They taught me nothing. Other than like some stuff that I knew I wasn't going to use later on. I will say they did teach me things, just things that weren't important. Okay, so pretty much yours was like that. You got nothing from school. Yes. Uh, why do you say that? Um, because. For me, it was a lot of the stuff that they could have taught me. I knew either from somewhere else or I um, just didn't gain anything from because I knew like at some point in middle school, because you got to remember um, in middle school was when I used to like draw a lot and was when I like first started my YouTube channel and stuff. And so at the, by that point, I already relocated myself to i do want to do something like more creatively oriented mm -hmm. um and 
so I knew from like then on like school like even when I tried like really paying attention in classes it was just like this isn't shit that I didn't know or shit that I haven't heard before this isn't anything that's gonna affect my future you know and do you and still agree for the most part yeah honestly okay um because that's to true. me and that's not to be like a like that's not to be like arrogant no that's i was, not to I, was be like, I was laughing because i fucked up a drink with a trip mine <laughs> it's not to be like a oh i know everything or anything like that mm -hmm. but it's just like um it's like just school legitimately offered me nothing and it's it's like and especially with a system like i don't know how the education system is in other countries so i'll just say the american education system situations like that it's like when it's so easy to play the system and i know i'm not getting anything out of it right now why would i not play the system you know um interesting and and Another question so, whatever you okay uh, so that's why I never really did anything with school. What's your other question? Okay, so pretty much you said that, like, currently you still kind of think, like, you know, school didn't really teach you anything. They just didn't really have anything. Yeah, actually, uh, so when I first got out of school, when I was, like, 18, right? Mm -hmm. Up until maybe, like, half a year ago, like, six months ago? Mm-hmm. Uh, I was always like, damn, I should have paid attention more to school, or damn, I did really bad in school. Like, what if I want to go to college for this, or what if I want to do this? But since then, I've come to terms with the fact, like, and no, most of the things that I could or want to do, um, the school wouldn't matter for, because it's not like I plan on being, like, something that requires that higher level of knowledge, like, say, like, um, law school or being a doctor or whatnot. All right. This actually bleeds into my other question, Loki. Okay. So, upon further like thought, I guess mm. me personally, mm. what do you think school was for? Um, what do I think school was for? Yeah. I think that school was for. Hmm. That's a hard call. I mean, if you want to be blunt and just be like, it was to waste our time for about, like, you know, 18 years or whatever. You want me to tell you what I really think it was I mean, for? yeah, like, just, just be honest. Like, if you think it was for, like, to waste our time or something like I that. Think, like, I don't think it was to necessarily waste our time. I think no. it was to uh, <laughs> prepare our minds for the fucking system. All right? Okay. It was so we could get used to the fucking mundaneness of doing the same shit every day so they could break our fucking spirit. That's what I think. Okay. So that we'd be so, ready for it when, in the future. I think... Um, <laughs> I don't disagree with that aspect, right? Mm -hmm. You and me have talked about that. Before, yeah. To be fair. But I actually don't think, I think my main problem with school, just me personally, was mm. not school. Okay. Uh, it was me. Fair. Elaborate. Uh, I say that only because like I, okay, I have a, this is the question I actually wanted to ask you. Uh -huh. If you were to drop everything, yep, and be as consistent as can be, and what I mean by consistent is consistently, like when you, I'm talking like every single day, okay, drop everything, consistency, mm -hmm. and strive for just straight up excellence, mm -hmm. like accepting nothing less. And by excellence, it doesn't mean that you have to, you know, like, everyone has their own standard for excellence. But yes. your standard of excellence, do you think that you could drop everything tomorrow and strive toward excellence consistently? Mm. Yes. You do? And I believe that because of... For me, I'm not going to... Okay, I'll ask well, you, what's your standard of excellence? To... That's a great question. Because to me, it, I was going to say, I could consistently do something every day, full on. 
Um, Excellent stuff. If I have fun with it. But I think the problem with me is I'm too much of a perfectionist to strive for excellence. I think if those I are counter for the best. If I strive for the best, I, I I will never do it. If you strive for the best, you'll never what? Do it? Yeah. Like do the best? Yeah. Well, no, I'm saying like I'll cuz to I'm too much of a perfectionist. If it isn't literally the best possible, it will not happen. So, your version of excellence would be uh, perfection, I guess? I don't know. Okay, I can see that. But for me, I could consistently do everything to the best of my ability. Like every day, I could try my best at something consistently if I have fun with it. Legitimately. Without too much care of how perfectly it's done. Or how well it's done. So you could drop yeah, everything to tomorrow and do your best every single day starting tomorrow consistently if it was fun if it, yeah. if it was fun yep and that kind of puts conditions on it how so only just i mean you know yeah i'm not I mean, saying it's not well, possible i'm just saying it kind of puts conditions on the thing i mean it does right but if i'm if i don't have fun with it then i'm literally just doing it every day and for one thing, that's going to get super boring, super fucking fast. Second off, I'm too much of a, of a perfectionist to, do, to warrant doing the best I possibly can with no fun involved. Because then I'm considering nothing other than how good it is. And if I'm considering nothing other than how good it is, then it'll never happen because it won't be the best possible. Because it won't be perfect. Wait, if you're thinking about how good it is, it will never be the best because it won't be perfect? Yes. But it's your because best. Because I will notice every flaw. But it's your best. But, see, that's your, that's also a restriction. How? Because for me, if, if it's like I have to do it my best and I deem my best not good enough, then it's not happening. Because it's not the best it can be. Okay, so. Do you think that you could drop everything tomorrow and be perfect? No. Okay, so the answer, because, and the only reason I'm asking is because I'm just trying to understand. Your version of excellence is perfection. Yes. So unless you can drop perfection every day, you could not meet that. Yep. Okay. Because I would notice, I notice flaws too heavily. Okay. But if it's something I have fun with, then yeah. Absolutely. Because there's something else to consider while doing it. Okay, so I'll ask you this. If you have fun, but it's not perfect, what do you call that? I think that's a hard say because it's based on... Because even if I'm having fun with it, it still depends on if in my mind I think I can do better in that moment, you know? But I'm not as worried about perfection because it's like, I like doing this, you know? It's like, I have a reason to be doing this beyond how good it's done. But if I'm not considering how much fun I'm having, I have no other thing to consider other than um, how good it's done. So at that point, if it's not the best that it possibly can be, then what's the point of doing it? Okay, so if you're not having fun, it better be the best. Yes. And if you are having fun, the best doesn't matter. If I am having fun, the best of my ability is good enough because I have a reason to be doing it. So then why don't you just switch your uh, like, version of excellence? Um, I mean, because I'm not going to do something if I don't have fun with it. No, that's, no, that's what I mean. Oh, then yeah. You just switch your version of excellence to where if you're having fun and it's your best ability, like, you could do that. Only reason I'm asking yeah, that... is I personally could not drop everything tomorrow and 
consistently achieve excellence. <clears throat> At least my standard of excellence. Mm -hmm. I could not drop everything tomorrow and do that. I mean, I, eh, I, I think I could. might be able to, but you know, I'll say this. I could not do that when I first got out of school. Mm. No chance in hell. Fair. Like, if someone were to be like, okay, you know, do this, like, or like, you know, even if I were to just be like, okay, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do really, really, really good at it every single day. I'm going to fall off. Something is going to yeah. happen that's going to make me fall off. Yeah. Yeah. I think that in a sense, like, don't get me wrong. I feel like the education system is definitely something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, damn, bro. What, what, what happened? <laughs> It's just the way I was like, it's definitely something. I mean, it's, Damn, there's bro. something about I didn't mean to, to said, you know? I didn't mean to do it like that. I, I just... Getting free to, free to play, I mean, right? there's, there's definitely something like, to be said about systems, you know? Like, definitely something, but... Something, um, you know, one could say is systemic. It's, it's, <laughs> it's definitely something, say it that much. It's something, for sure. But, I can't disagree with that. Jesus. I feel like the thing about school that I kind of feel like I got fucked on, the only reason I got fucked on it <laughs> is because I wasn't willing to do, like, the work. Mm -hmm. And, you mm -hmm. know, I understand the whole, like, it's fucking, you know, fucked up system, shit like that. Yeah. But, at the end of the day, like, when they set up, like, challenges and stuff, it's mm. not actually because the shit, like, I'm not gonna hold you. Unless you want to be a physicist or someone who actually gives a damn about physics, physics does not help you in life. Unless you don't know that when an apple falls from a tree, the shit that does that is called gravity. Like, physics ain't finna... If you don't know that and you're in physics, you need to go back to kindergarten because you missed a hell of a lot of lessons. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Yeah. Like, Yay's losing in high school yet, G. They did you a disservice by passing your ass law. But Damn. what I mean by that is it's actually <laughs> not supposed to be like it's not for you to know physics. Yeah. Like going to a hard class, like an AP class or something like that. It's not for you to sit there and be like, okay, I know advanced fucking algebra. Yeah. It's to see who can apply themselves to something mm -hmm. uh, like at a greater level than yeah. usual. I can actually agree with that. I can actually agree with that. I can actually agree with that. Um... Okay, so question number three. Okay. So I'm asking a lot of questions. It's just that you say some shit that I'm like, yo, <laughs> some of this shit is really boggling my fucking brain. Okay. Remember I said at the beginning of the podcast, ladies and gentlemen, uh, tiny man here, six foot one, tiny man. So tiny man, tiny man brain. Me? No, no. Five, four, big man. Yeah. Right? Nick, five, four, big man. Me, six, one, tiny man. Yeah. yeah, yeah tiny yeah, man yeah. brain, yeah. tiny man problem. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> if you knew that you know like stuff like that i mean to be fair that's not something i knew at first that's something i realized like somewhere in high school i don't know exactly when but that's something i realized somewhere in high school okay but you just like, didn't learn definitely from like yeah that's because that's something that i Is this shit learned on? from I think, how'd you get in what happened Oh, we were playing in a patrol. Oh, oh he fucking joined your world. I'll block him off. Um, yeah. So, I, leave, right? I don't know how that blocked. It's alright. We'll figure it but out. But anyway, Nick. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know exactly where I learned it. I think because I'm going to be dead ass with you. You want me to tell you what I think taught me that? What's up? 
as a kid, I daily played lots of MMOs. Mm -hmm. And I think that that is something that I gained from MMOs. As much as they all fucking suck now. Is the whole consistently doing something every day and keeping at it in order to see self-progress or to see, like, self-fulfillment type shit is, like, that's a big reason behind grinding in MMOs. Like, PJ. Yeah. Do you remember how fucking sick you felt when we finally got you the fucking Fatebringer? I'm not talking about consistency. I'm talking about, okay. like, like, excellence. Excellence? Yes. Well, it taught me the concept of excellence. Yeah. Like, striving for the best? Not the best. Because excellence can't be, well, like... I mean, it can be the best, obviously. Well, but... like, the best, like, in your mind. Like, whatever you deem to be... Excellence, the best possible like... Way it's done. Like, striving for it. Like, what taught you yeah. how to strive for it? Um... What taught me? Because <clears throat> mine was not cool um... either. I'm just asking. I'm trying to think. What taught me how to strive for excellence was taking a fucking L every day. <laughs> but I would not have had to take the same fucking L <laughs> had I <laughs> known how to strive for excellence in said you know what i mean like like that where it's like yeah. school if i'd applied myself at school i'd know how to strive for excellence okay what is excellence going to take people some people know what excellence is going to take like exactly how much of you it's going to take in order to achieve that excellence people know that in school if you've applied yourself to yeah. like heavily grueling shit where it's like you gotta study every fucking day because i got an a in order to maintain this a nigga has to study and if I don't fucking study, I don't keep this A, which means I don't stay at excellent. You see what I mean? Versus like me, where it's like, I'm going to stay at a C. I'm not actually yeah. going to strive for a C, mind you. There were classes, like, if the class was hard, I'm like, hell no, nah, I'm sitting at a C. If it was hard, I'm like, I'm going to sit at okay. And then I'm going to just like roll up with an A at the end, right? Mm -hmm. that's not excellence. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what would be excellence at that point. What I taught think... me excellence was fucking taking an L. So what taught There's you that? a few things it could have been, because it's definitely something I learned subconsciously. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. It's definitely not something that I just, like, acknowledge. No, it's not that you just pull up, like... Knew. Oh, excellent! Black like, <laughs> nigga got the yeah. I'm not. The, the I'm not figures on your head like yeah. cell, like excellence. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> like it ain't this that. This is perfection. This is like, perfect. I, no. like it's 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 be. not like that. Um, there's a few things it could have been. Mm -hmm. Uh, used to play basketball every day for like you know a few years, so it could have been that. And, like just trying to stay consistent with that and just getting better, seeing the self improvement for that. Um, it could have been, I'm trying to think, it could have been like, um, there was this, uh, this is gonna sound insane, but stick with me here. So there's this Minecraft server, okay, way, 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 way back, it was Owen, Owen's Minecraft server. Okay, mm -hmm. and we we had a, a gang of niggas on there. Lots of people. We get new people sometimes. Like it was it was like a group server. This was one of the this was the first SMP. All right. Yeah. Um, so like 2011, 2012, we started a server that lasts until like twenty fifteen. Okay. Um, and I was always the like odd one out in the group, right? Mm -hmm. um and uh i was also often deemed like at least at the very beginning i was also often deemed like the worst builder and so i just kept building until i got too cold at building so i would like just come home from school and build every day And, like, I built a whole bunch of stuff on the server, and I would build stuff with other people and shit, like. 
that it could have been that. Um, you know what else it could have been? So, it could have been me writing actually. Okay, question. Hmm. Only reason I keep asking questions is because I want to know your version of excellence. Okay. So would you say you're perfect at writing? No, but I have fun with writing. But that's not your version of excellence. I I thought we just, I thought that it was I I said if I have fun with something then yeah I could do my best at it. That's is it not that simple? You said that even if okay so pretty much if you're having fun with it you just don't yeah. look at like anything else. But if you're not having fun with if, it you if look I'm at the problem. If I'm having if I'm having fun with it I can acknowledge the flaws and be okay with it because I'm I currently have a reason to do it. The my reason to do it is because it is fun. If I do my best, then that is fine enough with me. Okay. But if I have if I'm dumb, if I'm not having fun, then to me my only reason for doing that is to have it be the best it can be because what else am I getting from it? Okay, so why do you do it? Well, I generally don't do things I don't have fun with. Okay. Generally. I mean, well, we're disregarding the jump ultimate start speedrun. No, I thought you That's started out because you wanted to do that, and then it just kind of turned into some dumb shit, which you still want yes. the world record. Yeah. So I wasn't yeah, talking I about the ultimate stars. I was just asking. Yeah, no, I, yeah, for me, it's, I generally, I don't generally do things I don't have fun with, but it's just like, if I don't have fun with something, then there is no other reason for me to be doing it other than having it be the best it can possibly be. So, yeah. I'm just yeah. But, all right. How long have we gone? Okay. A long fucking time. Yeah. 157. 150 damn this is a mad foot. Last episode was 210. Still, we have a long episodes back to back. Yeah. It'd but, be like that. I don't know. I mean, uh I guess uh just to end off the excellence conversation, it's hard for me to think about That's something cool. about like excellence or something like striving for that and stuff because like i know what it is i know how to do it but for me it's like hard to talk about shit like that just because i don't take things that seriously you know because to me it's like there's no reason for me to do things if i'm not having fun with them okay uh let's end on this yo if you could have one power, what would it be, and why do you think it's better than any other power? Wait, what the fuck? Oh. I could have Whoa. one power. That's a good question. We'll start with Josh, because he didn't get to talk, and I actually fucked that up on accident. <laughs> no, you're good, bro. Yeah, but yeah, if you could have one power, power what would it be? Uh, one power. <gasps> what would it be? Oh, that I'm shit sorry. made it. <laughs> Nigga, oh, it worked! <laughs> Bro, we're stuck in here, though. Oh, uh, work? But, um, yeah, I, I can't get it out. Um, one power, what it would be... Huh, okay, so, like, is there, like, limitations? Because... I don't want to be no, on some, like, to, my I mean, hero no, shit. You could, be on, you, to... you could be on some, you know, like, I want to know how to 4D chess with God. Like, yeah, you could, you know. <laughs> it's cool. Like, just like You just have to be mm -hmm. able to explain what you want and why you think it's better, than, why you think it's better than everything else. That's it. Um, I like to go back in time in 30 seconds. Like, 30 seconds, like, back in time or, like, a minute or something like that. You'd like to go back in time by like thirty seconds. So you want a quick save? What? Well, kind of like just like yeah. a rewind. A quick save would be okay. like you can like yeah rewind. Back. So like if this nigga last I can only do it one time. Ago, he fucked. <laughs> nigga save from five but, years. But okay, ago. here's the thing. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. It's it's like a uh, replay. It's not like a okay. 
It's actually, yeah, it's not like really a quick save. It's more like a replay. Okay. Yeah. There's a reason why. Because uh, I feel like if any power suited for me is that, I like to study like, like my past shit. I don't know why. It's just something I always okay. do. Even no. if it's like stupid, I'd like to like analyze it. And especially like view the situation. So that power, if anything, is more catered towards me than maybe something else. But that's just me. Okay. That's sick. Uh, yeah. What about you, Nick? Hmm. Uh, if you want me to go, I can. So that way I don't. Yeah, don't... you go, because that's a hard one. Um, I would just take flight. Ooh. Flight is probably the most basic power, I feel like, that, like, a lot of Nate, like, I want to be able to fly. But the main reason that I want to be able to fly is because, have you ever been, uh, Nick, have you been on a plane? Yo, Nick? Maybe? Oh, you did? Uh, but I wouldn't remember it. Okay. <laughs> so, like, I think flight would just be the most... This is going to sound like some loner type shit. <laughs> it's the most peaceful and like solitude that I could probably think of is just being able mm. to fly. Yeah. And the only thing I got to worry about is if it's storming. Because I don't have to, okay. if it's storming or getting hit by a plane. And even then, do I even have to worry about that? Because it doesn't necessarily mean that I got to fly to 2,000 feet. Or wh however, what is 12,000 feet in the fucking air? Some shit like that, that planes fly at? Yeah. I, I ain't got to go all the way up there. You know what I mean? But if I can fly, it's like... I, sometimes I just like moments. Where I'm just... I don't want to say doing nothing. But just like moments to collect my thoughts unbothered. That, uh, I would not have to worry about transportation ever again. Literally. The whole that gas expense is out of the gas. Yeah, gas expense is, is out of the entirety <laughs> of the plan. Gas doesn't exist for me. Fuck so that extra $20 places. that week, yeah, it's mine. Um, yeah. Also, yeah, I know. This is <laughs> expected. Uh, women. Mm. Uh, Dude, I'm unbeatable. Uh -huh. I'm unbeatable. How are you gonna beat me? Unless you got something that is romance 101, which I'm sorry. Take a book from the cheesiest superhero of all time. Let's take fucking Superman. The reason why Lois Lane is still with this thing is because if she's not, them flying dates, them bitches are out the window. You can't settle for another. Oh nigga. yeah. How you gonna you gonna settle for a regular man after you was dating Superman for ten years? <laughs> yeah. My man's can legit fly. Other niggas can be like, I'll make you feel like you're flying. I could take us through the air, baby. Like, what you want to do? <laughs> you want the nigga who got a metaphorically real, <laughs> or you want the real deal? <laughs> That's funny. Plus, I'm in love with the wind. I don't know what it is, but yeah. Wind's pretty dope. So that's just why I feel like flying would just be like OD. Mm -hmm. And the reason I think it's better than other powers is because the only one that could probably come close to it is teleporting, in my opinion. And uh, with teleporting, oh, yeah. you've essentially taken the fun out of flying. Super speed, yeah, but it's like now you got there too fast. So what's the point of traveling? You can go anywhere you want at any given moment. Same thing with teleporting. What's the point? You're not going to see the international date line because you're just going to run right past it at Mach 17. And then teleporting, yeah, you don't even, unless you're trying to teleport to the middle of the ocean to see the international date line or teleport, you know, like shit like that. It's like you took all the fun out of it versus like I can fly past it. 
And if I can go like jet speed, it's like, you know what I mean? It's going to take me three hours to fly. Do I got food? Yeah. So it's just like the funnest option to me. Josh wants to replay Tam. Um, Tam. I don't even know what that was. <laughs> I think... I think I'd want the voice of all things. Talk to animals? Oh. Mm, I No, I want the ability to read emotions. Is that what the voice of all things is? Yeah. Well, yeah, 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 technically. Yeah. Cause you can, dope name. Uh, because it allows people to read other languages as well. Like, that's how Roger was able to read the poneglyphs and stuff. But, like, you can read the emotions behind words and such. Mm-hmm. Which is how you can that... read the words. Mm-hmm. Huh. And I'd want that so that I could... You'd learn uh, language at that point. Well, I could learn any language, but it also lets me help people even if there's a language gap. That is also true. Um, and it also lets me, like, understand. It lets me understand, and that's all. That's what I like about it. It's really stupid, but it lets me understand. So, like... If I can understand how, like, a person or animal is feeling, or, like, the meaning behind somebody's words written or said, then that's the easiest way for me to be able to help those people. I feel like talk to those people. you just kind of shot me in the foot a bit. <laughs> and not on purpose. Why? But, I mean, like, <laughs> and I probably, I'm not going to say this for Josh, but I'm just thinking my, per my personal thoughts. Me and Josh got two selfish-ass gifts, like, Josh is like, I want to go back and study my shit, all right? And I'm like, I want to take chicks on dates in the sky, and I'm in love with the wind, all right? And you're like, I want to help people and break down all barriers because I can understand emotions. And I'm just kind of like, <clears throat> damn. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's rad. That's, uh, <laughs> I'll be out of here then. Uh, <laughs> Cause it's like me and Josh got like these like, hey man, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like we're like, hey bro, Josh is like, nigga, a mistake? Pfft, nothing. I can just redo that shit and just see what I did wrong over and over again until I get that bitch right, and then it's like pfft, whatever. And I'm like, this nigga, man, I'm trying to take bitches through the air, bro. What you trying to do? And then Nick's like, I'm trying to understand people and get to a better place emotionally. And I'm just like, <clears throat> oh, that's uh, <coughs> it's hot here, right? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Damn, I'm an asshole. <laughs> it's just like, why am I so selfish? Fuck. I'm sorry. No, you're straight. Hey Josh, I got back over the wall. Jesus. It's gonna take another super for me to get back. Oh. Uh, <laughs> damn. Yeah. My bad. No, you're straight. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, like, if you got like a noble thing about it, it's like, bro, shit, we need that now more than fucking ever. Everyone in this bitch is selfish. See, that's why I know God didn't want to give me the power to fly, because he's like, this nigga already has problems. I gave this man the power to fly. He gonna take that shit too far. Soar over enemy lines. What's up? Who is this man? What's up? Punch someone in the face and then take flight. No way. <laughs> Imagine, bro. You get jumped by one nigga. It just feels like 50 because every time this nigga says, fight back, he soars back down and punches you in the jaw. What are you doing? He doesn't actually want you to fight back, by the way. No, he does not. If he says that, he does If he not wants you to, want fight, to back, fight back, he's doing something to make sure that you can do nothing of the sort. He is not going to be on your ass and say fight back if he wants you to fight back. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, uh... Oh, if y'all didn't just... know, that face that I sent in chat was my face whenever Josh said gerbil ass. <laughs> I'll put that in the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> That's in the thumbnail.
<laughs> just gerbil ass. And then that's the whole video, just gerbil ass clip. My face just. Mm. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> that I don't is, know about that. That is something. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think emotions are cool. That's all. Uh, I guess we can wrap it up there. Yeah, I feel like that's good. Uh, yeah. Any parting words? Uh, how all right how that's all i want to know how? how how did he get it there how did he get it there bro how how did you do it? how did you do it bro actually no I'm you, know, you know how if there's you any know people how. just just why <laughs> just why uh, um, we know how you did it but i just want to yeah, know your reasoning big fella why that's crazy that is absurd even. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's, That's funny, funny, bro. I'm gonna ask my mom, though. <laughs> like, I'm gonna ask my mom, like, hey, is there anybody with <laughs> Ask her, just like, hey, so anyone ever come to your job and just be like, hey, so I got this dead thing up my ass. I was wondering if you could help me about that. <laughs> like, oh, but yeah, bro. Hey. I guess that's the end of the episode. Uh, appreciate y'all listening the whole way through if you did. I don't even know how long it is. What is it, like two hours? I'm like, what? What'd you say? Yeah, probably like two hours. Two hours and some change, I guess. But uh, just comment, subscribe, you know, like the shit. Y'all if you're tell- listening on like Spotify, you know, appreciate it. Y'all tell us in the YouTube comments what your what power you would want and why you think it's better than other powers. Also, give us topics. I feel like if y'all gave us topics, that shit would be interesting as hell. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, and I mean, you know, with Josh's gerbil ass thing, I feel like if someone's like, flex. talk about must for 30 minutes, it's like we could probably pull it off because I mean, uh, I, you know, uh, at this point, we're, you know. <laughs> and I guess my parting words are going to be um, I, my power may not be cold. But that's what I am with the hand, so it doesn't matter. I'll see y'all later.